just in a nutshell, a one-line definition of what enterprise alignment is, is simple. We take alignment, which is really very broadly about AI systems that are safe and comply with policies. And we want to make sure we can do these for business, enterprise, organization level settings. Um, before we talk about enterprise alignment, here's a very, very short introduction to alignment more broadly. So basically, the idea of alignment is to make sure that our AI systems, and by these we mean kind of very generally systems that might involve a large language model component, but not only, we want to make sure that they operate consistent with the kind of things that we'd like to have as humans. That means we'd like them to take our instructions. That means we want them to have the same goals as us. That means we want them to behave according to our values. It means we'd like to satisfy, for example, ethical considerations. It means that as a society, our norms should also be encoded in these systems, and they should behave in a way consistent with them. It also basically means that we'd like to prevent them from exhibiting harmful behavior and to make sure that we promote beneficial types of behaviors. And just as a kind of very short note, there is this simple triple H definition that we often use. We'd like these AI systems to be helpful, to be honest, and not to do harm. What we mean here by harm are things like we want to make sure that these systems don't produce toxic behavior, don't produce biased or unfair outcomes. So all of these things are kind of things that we'd like to be able to ensure with our AI systems just very broadly. And to make it a bit more concrete, many of the systems we're talking about they interact with users by taking instructions. And it's possible to kind of present very harmful instructions. And in those cases, what we'd like our system to be able to do is at the very least to refuse to answer those kinds of instructions. Now, the reason why alignment has become such a powerful kind of idea is that in the past, a lot of our focus was on predictive systems, in which case we could always use metrics like, for example, accuracy to gauge how high quality our predictive systems were for particular tasks. But as we started working more and more with things like large language models or generative AI more broadly, in that case, we really have to deal with kind of other metrics that are not as simple as predictive accuracy and are more tracking the behaviors and the outcomes of these models. So this is why alignment has become a major area. It's extremely important, both in practical applications of AI systems, but also in the research space as well. So this was all a very, very short introduction to alignment more generally. Now we'll make this more specific to enterprise settings for AI systems. And what this basically means is that we want AI systems that are functioning within organizations or companies to be consistent with kind of similar things. So the goals of the company, the ethical standards of the particular area the organization is in. And of course, very importantly, we'd like to make sure that these systems satisfy regulatory requirements. So this means that for enterprise alignment, we're going to build on the general alignment setting, but we're going to have a lot more complexity to deal with all of these things within the enterprise space. We would like, for example, an LLM powered system to refuse a non-compliant employee request. So we might have some policy, and this policy is going to specify exactly what is an acceptable and unacceptable request, we want to make sure that our LLM powered system is going to be able to refuse all those requests that are not compliant with a policy.